Well, hey y'all, it's Wanda Sands here. And you know, I was thinking I'd do a video on how I take my makeup off. Since my last video was putting makeup on, I'd like to show you my evening routine and how I take it off. So, let's get started. All right, first thing I need to do is get this hair out of my face. So, what I do is I take it all the way up from the ears, take all the bangs, and then try and make myself just a little top knot right there. Just to make sure it's out of the face. There, how's that? All right, next step. Um, eye makeup, that's what I like to focus on next. What I'm using, and this is great, because this has so many uses, and people don't think about it, but it's been around since the beginning of time. It's petroleum jelly. And this one actually has, um, it's enriched with cocoa butter, so it actually, it smells really divine. All right, I'm just taking a little tissue, you know, Grab myself some of this petroleum jelly, and you're probably wondering what am I going to do with it. Watch. This is how I like to remove my eye makeup. It kind of gets a nice good start to getting the eyeliner and the mascara off, you know. Yeah, so I don't have to really scrub at it with uh, the soapy water, which can tend to get into my eyes and irritate them. Alright, I mean, look at all that dirt. Mm, Alright. So, next thing. We're going to uh, get some lukewarm water going. I've got a nice clean washcloth. Really important, you always use clean washcloth on your face. Talked about that before, and believe me, that's still important. All right, getting it nice and warm. And let's see here. This is one of those microfiber um, washcloths I got at the Dollar Tree a while back. And, uh, ooh, it's very spongy, you know. I'm going to do, just with the water, the warm water on the washcloth, I'm going to take off as much as I can, just water and uh, the washcloth. Again, I'm going to go under the eyes a little bit more because I still see, in fact, I'm going to even use a little more of my petroleum jelly with the cocoa butter oh, and get under there because I don't want to leave traces of eyeliner or mascara all over my eyes. And look, still lots of there. See the dirt? All right. Now, next step is going to be working on the soap. All right. So I'm going to turn my washcloth over so it's like a brand new, you know, washcloth. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have any facial cleansers per se on me today. So I'm going to just have to deal with what I've got, which is an. an Say it, it works pretty good. This is actually palm olive, okay? It's just a palm olive, your basic soap. Now, I know you shouldn't really be using bars of soap, you know, like body soap on your face because it can tend to be harsh and dry them out, but I think it's better than nothing, you know? Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. If I don't have the facial cleanser on me, then I'm gonna have to use what I can find. Oh, now, it does smell really nice, nice and clean. And we're going to get all over it. Really deep into the nose, a little lips. Don't forget the jawline. And there we go. Now, time to rinse this all off. Okay. Ooh, that is a spongy, spongy washcloth. Uh, microfiber. I guess it's pretty cool. Tomorrow, once I get that going, I kind of turn it to a, more of a cold water, you know. And I splash it. Without using the uh, washcloth. Mm, and I can feel my skin. It feels nice and squeaky clean. All right. So, I'm going to do just pat dry now. Got a nice clean towel, dry towel. Start here. Just pat dry. All right. Next step. This is really nice. Um, this is something my. Mama gave me a while back. This is a Clinique um, clarifying lotion in number three. All right. So I take that along with a nice little cotton ball. And this is a nice toner for your face. This is going to help um, get rid of any of the dead skin cells on there. It's going to renew the skin. It's also going to help get rid of any residue of dirt that was left behind. We'll take a look at this in just a second. Let me see. Because you think you think you got your face clean, right? But look. 
Oh, it's red. You know what? I noticed that about this washcloth. I, I dry. I just pat it, and it leaves like a. It's there's like red. Almost looks like blood, but it's not. It's like red fibers from this. So I gotta be careful when using this. Hmm. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another dab of this toner to make sure I get everything off my face. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, that is refreshing. I'll tell you what. You don't want to go too close to the eyes. Because again, this is an astringent, alright? And it can tend to burn. So you got to be really, really careful. However, I will do the eyebrows. Alright. A little dirt off there. Okay, next step. This is a night cream, alright? Actually, it's an anti-wrinkle cream. I got it at the Dollar Tree, you know? Hey, I, I, I like to try things for a dollar. Why not? And I found that it's really, really rich, okay? It's almost like a pudding, you know? Um, I tag a nice lathering uh, fingertips worth and... Mm, you spread it all over the face. Mm -hmm. Now, this you definitely want to get under the eye. Because, uh, especially a lady my age, we are very, very sensitive in these eye areas. And we have to get it done good. <sighs> Boy. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I still have... There we go. A little bit of, you know, eyeliner, mascara, what have you underneath. So, we want to get rid of that. Now. This is a little trick that the great Marilyn Monroe used to do. Okay, I'm going to share a little secret with you. How she kept her face being all supple and soft. Um, petroleum jelly. It's wonderful. I just take a little bit now, alright? Once I have applied the moisturizer, I put a little thin layer and I put it all over the face, especially up in the forehead where those nasty, nasty wrinkles are. On the chin, of course, the lips. And what you can also do with this, too, I learned this up. Brooke Shields used to do this, which she probably still does. You put a little bit just on the eyelashes. It's like it, it conditions the eyelashes. In fact, you can do, do this during the day. If you're not into doing the full makeup routine, you put a little bit of petroleum jelly on the eyelashes and the lips. Maybe smooth out your eyebrows and you're good to go. All right, and that's it. That's Wanda's routine for taking off her makeup. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I want to wish y'all happy holidays. I don't know when I'm going to get to, um, you know, posting more videos. Um, hopefully before Christmas, but you never know. Um, in the meantime, don't let anyone harsh your vibe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.